Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarah Martin with The Contoured Chemist. It's shade of the month time. Have you guys seen the next shade of Saint Eyeshadow? The color is Eternal and she's a good one. So if you wanna check it out, we're gonna be doing all the comparison swatches and an eye look, maybe two. Maybe we should just do two different looks because I'm like, there's, a couple different ways I want to show you how to use this shade. So if you want to check it out, please keep watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and thanks for being here. Okay, friends, it's eternal time. The June, holy moly, how is it already June? June, shade of the month is eternal, which, I mean, if you guys have been around here for a while, you know, you, if you know, you know, you know, this is like my, my jam, my tone, the kind of colors I really love to wear. Here she is. Now the website looks straight up so dark. <laughs> it's deceiving. It is a dark shade, definitely a five. Um, if you've ever tried our eyeshadows, some of them are very pigmented. Okay, this color is described as a deep red. And whereas I do see that, I also feel like it has a little bit of purple undertone to it. It reminds me of Revival, which is like my go-to like for all things liner. This one is the most similar to Revival in our permanent line, but different. Like it definitely is more red, less purple than Revival. <laughs> this is one of the colors that will straight up stain your finger. So I'm just telling you, like this isn't gonna come off. So if you're looking for a pigmented shade, here she is. It's kind of ironic. It will eternally be on your finger. I'm just kidding. Oh, I think I'm so funny. Ah, uh, it's eternal. It's, it's, it's gonna last a long time. All right, so here she is. I tried to semi-match. This is more brown, but it's such a pretty tone. Oh my gosh. So let's do a like, oh gosh, I'm afraid of the heavy swatch with this because it's just, Look at that, can you really see the tone? It is, I mean, yes, I see the red undertone, but it is not like red by any means. This is nowhere close to crimson if you were wearing that, nowhere close. It's so deep, so deep. So obviously my first thought is a liner because that's my favorite way to wear not coming off. Uh, revival. So let's do some comparison swatches. First of all, you can see how you can wear it lighter. So I'm going to show you, I got to show you two ways. I just can't help. First it. things first, Revival is the one that's always in my compact. Again, hard to tell in the tin because they're just so dark. Um, but let's put it next to each other. Okay, can you see the difference in tone? I feel like if I get the light just right. This is more purple. Now if I build it up, the depth is the same, like, but this is definitely more of like, instead of red, I would call it a deep burgundy, like maroon. Like that was my school color growing up in high school, maroon. That is maroon. <laughs> this has, is more like eggplant, <laughs> like purple. So technically Revival is more cool and this is warmer. But I feel like Revival has so much burgundy and brown in it. Like look at that. That, I mean, brown is, brown is warm, right? Burgundy is warm. 
I feel like this is why revival, I think in, even on my category system, I think I put warm, cool, <laughs> ah, which can be confusing. Here's a color wheel. Okay. If you remember the color wheel, okay, there's red, then there's violet, and then there's red violet. Okay. Warm mm -hmm. red, violet is cool, but red violet is right in between. That's what I feel like revival's always been. And I've always felt like it could be pulled warm or cool depending on what it's paired with. It's one of those things. Now this one, not so much. I feel like it's got a little purple in it because of that burgundy, but it is more warm than cool. I would say if I had to, I'd say this was warm. I'd say this was cool, but you can probably see for yourself. They're similar, but different undertone. For a comparison sake, my other deep dark I always keep in here, not as not quite as dark, is Coco. Okay, do you see? It's not as dark, and it is just a straight up warm brown. Okay, it is like probably the warmest brown we have. It's got the most warmth to it. All right, other levels. I don't think anything in that level is anywhere close. So we're hitting the fives, okay? I got some fives over here. Let's go with the closest that would be pomegranate. Do you see so, that? It's hard to tell, probably even on camera, but pomegranate is lighter. And in my opinion, more, this is where I try to analyze and it's definitely lighter. It's it's also very pigmented, but it help by looking at them. So this is pomegranate. This is eternal. Okay. This looks like it's got more purple in it. Do you see the comparison now? Whereas this doesn't look purple at all compared to <laughs> revival. Like they're all just like different steps. <laughs> pomegranate then probably this one and then revival going from like warm to purple, but oh, both beautiful shades. Um, but if you've tried pomegranate as a liner and it's not deep enough for you, because I'll be honest, I like pomegranate better for like outer corner. And as a liner, I prefer revival cause it gives me more depth because it's, a darker it's, vibe. It's not as deep and dark, so it's not gonna give you as much depth with the lash line, if that makes sense. So you can kind of see. It's more of a brighter tone. I mean, it's not bright, but you get what I'm saying. Okay, then there's Eve. Now, Eve is a shimmer. Eve is deep and dark and in the same color family, but is a shimmer. Okay, so just enough of that like light reflection will automatically lighten it because as light hits, it's not gonna look nearly as deep. Okay, and you can tell from looking, it's lighter. So pretty. I'd say that's probably closest as far as color family, but another one, such a favorite is Gilded. Been a favorite for so, so long. Um, but in my opinion, has always been lighter than Eve. And I think that's just because it's like, can you see like the difference? This is more burgundy. This is more red, um, almost coppery. I swear it's just getting harder and harder to make these comparisons guys. And then another favorite with the more purple would be Ken, which you can tell it's a lot more purple. So I've always really liked Ken and Revival um, with those more purpley tones, but they have enough warmth for somebody like me that likes warm tones to still really utilize them. And so Ken is a great outer corner color as well. You can kind of see those shimmers, how very like deep and dark they still look, even though they're shimmers, they don't really give off as much texture because again, 
those dark tones absorb light instead of reflecting as much light. I will be honest, those are the closest colors. None of the other colors are really close. So there's pomegranate, kin, gilded, eve. Okay, these are way more red, um, less purple. So here is holly. Can you see how red that is? So this makes this look not red at all. Do you see how now why I'm like, it's got a little purple in it? That's because this is more red. This has got more purple. So um, this is warmer, this is cooler, even though this is definitely like a burgundy shade. So more purple, less purple, more red. This is kind of in between these two. Do, do you guys see that? We're making sense, but that is pretty much like all those five shades anywhere close to the same color family. So let's do a couple eye looks. You can probably guess that I'm gonna use this as a liner because it makes such a beautiful liner. There is something about, I'll be honest, any of these colors would, just some of them with shimmer don't give as much depth because they do have that light reflection quality. Like cocoa I use all the time as like a really everyday natural liner on me. So you can tell anything darker than that gives more drama. And I love a pop of color. And if you have hazel eyes like I do, or green eyes, these red burgundy purple undertones make your eyes pop. And so they are forever a favorite. Did you guys remember I used this color the other week? Like this is legit. This uh, meteorite by Make Beauty is no joke. It's like this color in a pin form. So if you picked this up and need something to set it with and you don't want to change that color at all, uh, this will be your girl. I have no idea what we're going to do here. So let's just kind of wing it. I feel like <laughs> the eyeliner look, we can easily kind of wing it and just do like a very natural everyday eye and then add this as like our drama. Granted, this color is not nearly as bold and dramatic in my opinion as something like Una was because it is very deep and dark. And so you don't need that extra line. You just use this as liner. So I'm gonna just start off with like a nice easy base of like my magic eraser shade. I'm gonna go in with some drama in the crease, add some warmth, a little bubba pull it underneath my lash line, like as simple and as quick as possible. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of drama, not even drama, let's not say drama, a little bit of depth by just adding a little bit more shadow in the outer corner and bringing that into the crease, which is just with Sedona. So my like trio that is always in my compact, I feel like I use it for every video because it's just, once you find your ombre of like light, medium, dark that works with your eyes, they will forever be staples and they will go with everything. And so mine is Chai Bubba Sedona. Yours might be Pup Basic Oak or one of those other colors like Bird or something like that that just works well with your skin tone. And so I just urge you to experiment and find what works for you. So I'm gonna use a little magic eraser to kind of blend that out, which mine is chai. And there you go, nice and easy. Like, this is like my everyday base, okay? Now I'm gonna add my drama. So to line or not to line under this is the question. Let's just make it as easy as possible and not use anything under it and see how much depth we get alone. So I'm not gonna use black eyeliner under it. We're just gonna use Eternal. Right, I'm gonna start with a multitasker and see how it, how much depth I'm getting. 
And I'm just gonna kind of smudge this as close to the lash line as possible. I don't know, can you see that well? I feel like this is deep enough for me to do an everyday pop of color really quickly and easily. So let's switch to the multitasker and just kind of use that straight edge. And we're gonna kind of pull. So this kind of is like a messier line, which when you're using just a shadow, I feel like works really well. Like how pretty is that color? Gosh, I love it. I hope you guys can see that okay. So I'm gonna put like, the, how quick and fast was that? I'm just gonna put a little bit on the outer corner. Now, if I was taking this for daytime, I would totally just stop right here. If I was doing night, I probably would have put a base of like a liquid black eyeliner on first and then put this down. So if it fades, I will still have a nice defined line, but like you can tell like how much definition this color gives my eyes and yet it gives color and it's just like not black and not brown. It like adds so much more interest in my opinion. So really quick and easy. And if you want to add a little bit more fun to your lid, I'll be honest, I would just pick one of my like staple colors like Peppa and pop it on the lid. I think this could be really fun. More drama at night if I wanted to kind of wing it out or use some setting spray or water to kind of draw a more defined line with it as well. But that's super pretty. I love this depth because it's like you can use as little or as much of it as you'd want, right? Finish this by just brightening a little bit. And let's do something completely different on this side just for fun. All right, so what would be a good alternative for my crease? Let's just use bird like I was talking about. So we're gonna add bird to the crease, which is kind of like Bubba's sister. <laughs> Not warm, has that olivey undertone, which makes it cooler, but another really good option if you're wanting something a little bit different than just like a gray brown or the most neutral you could get. I always like it when I actually like wear this color and it's not so green undertone that it's gonna look weird with something red. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not gonna put a red and green. It's not green enough. It's not like Christmas colors, I promise. <laughs> it's a very wearable. Olive is a neutral, in my opinion. Who agrees? Okay, so we have our nice little base. Open up the eye with just a touch of bird. Okay, I feel like you can do so many different options, so I just swatched cranberry you can tell that's like really in the same color family so i feel like some people gravitate towards those that are like in the same color family when they're doing a look and that could totally work as long as there's enough difference between the shades and you're applying enough of say the darker tone so that there is that contrast so you don't get like that one color look. Another one that's in the kind of the same color family. So there's Cranberry, here's You Complete Me. And you can tell that one's a little bit lighter. So a little bit easier to pair with it. I'm gonna pick Tawanda. I, I love this color. Now I don't wear it heavy and I don't apply this at full pigmentation so it looks pink. To me, this is like the perfect shade to just kind of catch light, but is a little bit different. It's not quite so natural. It's got a little bit more pink, but a little bit more gold. And so this is how I apply it. I'm gonna use the side of my brush, which I don't do except for colors like this. Tap off excess. 
and then I'm just going to use it like a wash. And you'll kind of notice the difference of how, I don't know if you'll be able to tell, like this is Peppa, this is Tawanda. It's got more of that gold, full, like gold shimmer, no, but not super pigmented. It doesn't look pink. Both of these are pink colors, Peppa versus Tawanda. And like when you compare them, you might be like, ooh, Tawanda's very pink. That's scary. But when applied like this, it looks more rose gold. Now, the other color that's very rose gold in our collection is Angel's Landing. Okay, but this color gives major texture for those of us who have more mature eyes. Tawanda is a very finely milled shimmer. And so they don't look anything alike, but like this one will give that nice just touch of gold with a little pink undertone, which makes it look very similar on the eye with no texture. So um, some of our shades are just way more foiled and what I call chunkier shimmers, okay? I recommend those finely milled shimmers for this technique and just using a wash over the lid to catch that light not add texture to my aging eyelids, right? So then I can go in with a beautiful color like Eternal with the smudge brush. Now I'm gonna add drama on the outside of my eye. Okay, so I'm just gonna go boop, 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 boop. This is very pigmented, remember? So you're gonna need less. And then I'm just gonna go in right to that outer corner and I'm gonna gently tap and I'm going to start with less and build so that it's not way too dark. Okay. And I'm just going to kind of follow the natural, like into the crease down, like that little triangle formation. And if you just keep tapping, kind of like anything else with this makeup, it will blend just tap, tap, tap. So I don't have much left, but I'm just gonna keep tapping back and forth in that area and only pick up more when I really need to. And this is how you can kind of control and get more of this tone as opposed to like really deep. Now, that's totally personal preference, whether how dark you wanna go with it, but like, I'm about to go to a baseball game, so we're gonna do subtle. Subtle, but defined, and the outside corner is definitely gonna have more drama. And so you can see the difference. Let's just use this color again, and I'm gonna put it on and then set it with Eternal so you can kind of see what it looks like. Now, I'll be honest, I don't feel like these liners need to be set because they dry down and stay very well. But I like the look of like the powder over it, like the, the way it like takes away some of that harshness, so. That's the main reason I'm doing it for these, not necessarily worried about transfer. And add mascara, of course. Okay, guys. Which boy is your favorite? You guys tried these lip oils from Milani? Kinda want them all. Okay, so we've got liner, natural easy eye, drama. I mean, talk about that beautiful tone. I am such a sucker for these burgundy tones. It's no surprise that pretty much everything on my arm is like my all time favorite colors. So if you like these tones, don't sit on Eternal. It is only available the month of June or while supplies last. And unfortunately, 
some of the other colors have sold out before the end of the month. So if you're needing help finding some colors to pair with it, I'm doing eyeshadow matches still, um, a custom eyeshadow match. So I will put that link down in the pinned comment as well as description box that always has everything. I use all of the colors, everything on my face, everything. I always put that in the description box so you guys have all of that information. There you go. Do you love the color Eternal? It's one of my faves. That was in the advent calendar for sure. Love to know what you guys think. Are you going to pick her up or pass? And which side was your favorite? Liner, outer corner. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and being here. And I will see you next week. Love you.